Hi there, welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Chapra, and at the risk of being severely corny, I wanted just to say hello to you all, to thank you for your interest and support over the last 12 months, and to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. From me, my indispensable and incredibly talented artist wife, Pip, my invaluable colleague and manager, Vivienne Clark, and of course, the young man who started this whole thing with me, producer, director, editor, cameraman, drone pilot, ad infinitum, Ross Arrowsmith. As every single one of you knows, it's been a very weird year. For some of you, I know it has been absolutely horrendous. From our personal viewpoint, it hasn't been at all bad. We live in one of the most wonderful parts of the world. We have gardens to sit in, neighbours who chat to us and give a moral support. In fact, we have very few complaints and a real reason to try and avoid sounding smug. The only dreary thing about it all has been the impossibility of doing the one thing the explorer is designed to do, and that, of course, is to explore. There was a very brief interlude between lockdowns when Ross and I managed to get to Fairford and Lechlade and a few places in between, which allowed us to stitch together episode five of our journey. And then we spent a wonderful couple of days around Stroud, Sarancester, Minchinhampton and Malmesbury, which will allow us to put up episode six in the new year. But fun though all that was, it really wasn't quite what we intended for the year. However, I hope you enjoy both those episodes and we'll do our level best to continue south as promised during the course of 2021. Meanwhile, I have discovered an old love which goes back, I suppose, about 65 years reading aloud. I first fell in love with the sound of my own voice, which is a common fault incidentally amongst show-offs like me, when I was about eight years old um, I read the lessons at my school church services each week, as well as singing the solos in the choir. And since then, I've grabbed pretty much every opportunity to read aloud, and 2020 has been a bumper one of those. I do hope you've enjoyed Christmas Carol and Ghost Stories. For me, it's been a reminder of many happy times gone by, and it's kept Ross and me busy, maintaining our enthusiasm, of course, for continuing our explorer efforts. Keep yourself safe while the scientists rescue us from the grim effects of this virus. And let's hope that in 2021, we can once again bring you reminders of the history and beauty of the South of England. And here's to a much improved new year. See you then.